you guys are here with me, super blessed. I feel it, I know you feel it, and I have something with you. Direct Currents is back with you, baby. Today, I have found my spirit animal. Look, just like you. I thought, I was, how, how could I have a spirit animal? A spirit animal of all things. Animals are, they're dumb, uh, they stink, they can't wash themselves. Me personally, I thought I would have like a, a, a spirit superhero. Spirit Batman, Spirit Spider-Man, you know, a spirit, a spirit robot, something like that. A spirit doctor, a spirit police officer. I thought I'd be like that. A spirit firefighter, I thought I'd have something like that. Not a spirit animal. So today, I announce my spirit animal. Idris Elba from Cats. I'm not just talking about any ordinary cat, like the cat you have in your house, the one who doesn't bother you, the one who ignores you, the one who wants to be petted when they want to be petted. I'm not talking about that cat. I'm talking about Idris Elba as a cat. That's what I'm talking about. Not Wire Idris Elba, not Stringer Bell, not Luther Idris Elba, not Hobbs and Shaw, Idris Elba. Not Takers, Idris Elba. This, Idris Elba, the cat. So how do I know that he's my spirit animal? First of all, first of all, let's get this straight. The universe told me. Second of all, number two, he's sexy. Look at me. Do I, do I have to say it? Do I have to spell it out? It's oozing out of me. <laughs> do I have to, do, it's oozing out of me. I don't have to say it. We know what it is. Look at me. Third of all, he's dancing around all these other sexy cats. I know my spirit animal will be fucking. Look at me. <laughs> what do I be doing? Do I have to spell it out? No. Look, so, if you haven't found your spirit animal yet, I'm here to teach you how to find your own personal spirit animal. Your spirit animal can't be Idris Elba. Me and him are connected as one. There can only be one Idris Elba cat that he's connected to as a spirit animal, if that makes sense. Me and him are connected. But I'm gonna teach you how to find yours. So listen, the first thing to think about is, what food does your spirit animal eat? What do you eat? If you're a vegan, your spirit animal is not gonna be like a lion. It's probably some soft ass animal. Your spirit, a butterfly, hummingbird, that's your spirit animal. A hummingbird, some weak ass hummingbird. That's your spirit animal if you're a vegan. Okay, don't try to connect to some uh, grizzly bear. No, vegans and grizzly bears don't go together. It can't be your spirit animal. Like a little roly poly, that's your spirit animal. If you're a vegan, your spirit animal is a fucking roly poly. Let's be real. The next thing to consider, what does your spirit animal do? What do you do? If you're hardworking and honest, maybe, just maybe, your spirit animal is a horse. But if you're too, if, listen, if you're too ugly to be a horse, maybe you're a donkey. You gotta be, you gotta be straight up with yourself on whether you're a horse or a donkey. We know what a donkey looks like and we know what a horse looks like. You de look, at, look at yourself in the mirror and you decide, am I a horse or am I a donkey? Now at night, if you're sneaking around stealing stuff, maybe your spirit animal is a raccoon. I know my spirit animal is Idris Elba because we do a lot of the same stuff. We be at the same clubs, we deal with the same women, we drive the same car, we uh, 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 we go to the same restaurants. We we never wait in line anywhere we go. Well, well, well he he don't wait in line, but I'm I'm about ten people behind him. I'm going to get in somehow. Like I ain't tripping if I don't. Basically, what I'm saying is, think about shared behaviors, right? For example, if you're if you're an absentee father, your spirit animal can't be a seahorse because seahorses take care of their babies. The mama lay the eggs on top of the daddy's stomach. So he gonna keep them babies. So if you are, you're not taking care of your kids, if you're an absentee, if you're a deadbeat, your spirit animal can't be a seahorse. Maybe if you are a piece of shit dad, your spirit animal might just be a grizzly bear because they'll, they'll snack on their babies fresh out the womb. Polar bear, polar bear will eat the shit out of their baby. Dinner, to, it's, a, it's a celebration. We had a baby and we had Thanksgiving. Same day. So listen, if you don't like sharing food with your kids, you don't like providing, you don't like making sure your babies are okay, your spirit animal is a grizzly bear. If you're a bad mom, 
on the flip side, your spirit animal can't be a kangaroo because your baby lives with you in that pouch, warm all the time. If you're, if you're a bad mom, your spirit animal has to be like some sort of a uh, reptile. Uh, you just lay the eggs and you just get the hell out of Dodge. You figure out what your spirit animal is on your own. You comment below. Your spirit animal cannot be Idris Elba, cannot be cat Idris Elba, because that's my spirit animal. That's who I'm connected to. So your spirit animal cannot be him. But you find who your spirit animal is, you comment below, you watch, and you share this video. And hey, Direct Currents is out. I love you guys. We're blessed.